Welcome back to my channel, DIY with Sarah Renee. My name is Sarah, and I am so thankful that you guys clicked on this video today. The projects that I've come up with for today are very, very, very simple and not that time consuming. Since starting my YouTube channel, I have found that the more simple a project is, the faster I can get out the content. But what is key here is to keep those simple projects still really high end and to also keep it really appealing. So while keeping those two things in mind, I have created two projects today that are very simple, very quick. Each of these projects took me, I don't know, about 10 minutes to create. They're not time consuming, but they look really high end. They look like pieces that are throughout my home that I've definitely spent more time on. I know for myself that crafting or creating is a way for me to get back to the things that I love to do. I work full time, I am a mother, I am a wife, and you can kind of lose yourself sometimes with the day to day. Crafting and creating is a way for me to express my interests and express my creativity. And sometimes I want to see that result really, really quickly. <laughs> So these two projects that I created for us today were a great way for me to get that creative mind going, but also see the end product very quickly. So if you are ready for some fast crafting today, come on with me, let's go create.
two projects up front and center. We have our very high end looking door tassels, which I'm such a fan of. I think that these are such a nice little addition to a place that you typically wouldn't decorate, right? It's just a nice little touch. I love the wooded natural beads. Of course, I love the neutrals and the naturals and the textures. I love these little pieces right here. And then of course we have our very, very, very simple fall wreath. And I really like the simplicity of this. Like I love the color arrangements. I think that the Spanish moss gives it such a unique look. And I really like that that braided rope ended up really nice um, up top for our hanger part. I'm really, really happy with this one. Wreaths are like my favorite thing to make. If you follow me on Instagram, Crafty Cooking Mama, you will see wreaths on wreaths on wreaths. I really do like them and I try to make them all different. And this one is no exception. I thought it was unique and different and still staying true to me. So now to just talk about each piece individually, just little tips and tricks or things that I discovered while making the project. Um, the door tassels uh, were so easy. I loved that I did different sizes. So this was of course the long one and then the really short one that I trimmed a lot off of the ends. And then this is also another short one, but I barely trimmed any of it off, really just where it looped on the underside. And I like these like geometrical uh, wood beads versus just the round, even though I thought the round one looks looked cute on this one, but I really like the those geometrical <laughs> beads. I thought that they were unique and added just a really cool touch. I really like these. I have them stacked just on the doorknob all three together, but you could easily separate them and put them on different knobs throughout your home. I really like these and they are here to stay. <laughs> And now let's talk about our wreath here. I love the simplicity of this wreath. I love the neutral colors. I love the fall pops in here, the maroon and the orange, but it's still muted enough for me to keep those natural tones throughout my home. I really, really liked the Spanish moss. I think it gave it such a unique look. It's not all just leaves all around. I need a little bit of texture in there. Spanish moss, however, is very, very messy as you may have seen in the video. So just prepare yourself for that. I mean, I'm already grabbing some off of my sweater here. I really like the look that it gives. So I'll take the mess with it. It's fine. So that's it for our two projects today. I hope you guys enjoyed the simplicity of them both. I am super happy with both of the projects that we completed today, they already have a place in my home. Um, I just take them off of wherever they are to do our, our wrap up here. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a whole lot. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.